Shadow of the Erd Tree, man. Oh, yeah. So, since you have not played it yet, Mm-mm. you played a little bit of Elden Ring, um, what do you want to know about it, Phil? Let's see. Do you have any questions? I think the big thing to ask is, since you played, how many playthroughs of the original? Uh, I did, f- I, I was on my fifth New Game Plus. So, say, because, like, I haven't been in the game, right? Yeah. Um, I have, like, I think 200 hours into it. Or Which is fucking like insane. You have way more than I do. Well, that was scary. That was my foot. Oh. I hit my foot on something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, so, how, do you get, like, a bigger advantage for being, like, New Game five times? Uh, being, no. Like, no. level 900? Oh, uh, no. Whatever, no, right? they highly recommended you start a new character. Oh, really? Because every time you play again, it gets harder. So going into this, a lot of like I might have been, I was like two seventy two right now. I think is my level, but going into the DLC, I think it was two sixty five, and it's awesome. I I I love it. It was fucking hard though. I mean, a lot of people talked about that in their reviews and stuff when it was coming out. Like this is, you know, a lot of you guys complained how easy some of Elden Ring was, but this is the real deal. And it is. It is an experience. It, it also tries to... It's like for people who have never stopped playing Elden Ring. But it's been two years. That's so true. I had to literally... Re, like, I have all my gear. I'm like, how the fuck? Because I fight with the giant-ass, colossal, great fucking weapons that are gigantic. Yeah. I forgot how to use them. <laughs> so I'm, like, trying to retrain myself while at the same time trying to figure out this giant map. But I will say, I think this is one of the best add-ons ever made. For a game. Uh, I was going to say, um, I saw that it won like best DLC out of something. And oh, yeah, for Metacritic. It's the yeah. high, it, it beat The Witcher 3 finally. Yeah, and I saw that uh, CD Project Red. Yeah, did, like, did the drawing, t- yeah, which was the cool. Drawing, which was really sweet and, and awesome. Yeah, I mean, I got asked a couple days ago, like, what would you rank like the top 10 DLCs of all time? Oh, and it, I couldn't figure out the top That's 10. A tough one. Yeah, I'll talk about it in a second because um, I wanted to leave that for a topic to start th- kind of thinking about that. Yeah. Um, but Shadow of the Erd Tree, if you know what you're doing, like instantly, it, it does kind of hold your hand. Once you pick up this little fragment thing, it's like collect these. It makes you stronger here. Don't mm-hmm. collect them. You get your ass beat, which is true. So instantly, I'm going around finding these. And you can find some for your spirit ash too, which makes them stronger in this world. Oh, okay. And it's funny. I go to this dungeon, and, and before I even find the fragment, I'm like, I'm going to fuck this motherfucker up. Like, this is going to be easy. Like, bro, I hit him 10 damage. <laughs> and I like, I'm like, what the fuck? And then he hits me one shot. This he fucking one hit me. I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah, that's not cool. So then I find the first fragment, and I start leveling up. And I think I got up to like three Mm-hmm. went back to try and hit him fuck man still got my ass whooped it was still like throwing a marshmallow at a fucking rock <laughs> like still nothing um so then i kind of just came to the conclusion i'm not gonna look up anything i don't want to see anything i looked up a lot while playing elden ring which i know a lot of people like the experience of finding things on their own and i love that for the first 40 hours but then i feel like i'm missing stuff because there's yeah. so much shit to the world and i will be honestly the last five hours of the dlc i think i've been looking up a little bit more before i finally beat it i'm on the final boss guys don't worry i can go beat it today if i wanted to but i want to do all the side stuff because apparently some of the side missions disappear if you don't after you do a certain thing in the story so i've been trying to finish those and i'm almost done i think i have two more left and then i'm gonna go finish the the entire boss but okay overall um oh also they updated the game to make it easier Really? That, yeah, they actually upped the fragment, like how much damage and health you have now. Oh, from okay. Them. So I will say, since that update, it has made the game easier. Mm. There's two bosses that were giving me massive issues, which were... I had already beaten Mesmir the Impaler, who's on the box art and shit. But there's this fucking asshole named Commander Gaius, who's on this giant boar. Oh, and yeah. his his AoE is insane. Uh, I was watching my friend through uh, Discord because he's yeah. like into it right now, mm-hmm. and I I see him fighting Commander Gaius. Did he kill him? No, he he got his ass. Okay, for he, like so an hour straight. he should try. <laughs> yeah, I tried for an hour straight and I gave up. Went today, first try killed him. After the update, it, it makes it a lot easier. Like there was even one other boss that I only tried like twice, like way earlier on because I, I found him very early, which is funny because they're like the third story boss, and I got all the way to them without killing the other two bosses <laughs> before. Oh, wow. And I tried going hitting them. Oh, fuck no. I didn't do any damage. 
went today, second try I got him. So I think that update did make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Um, Take that as for what you will. I'm excited to see what the final boss is. I know who it is. I got spoiled on that, but I'm excited to see how I do up against them. Mm-hmm. And I'm. it was fun because fighting Mesmir the Impaler, I taught myself again how to play the game. That's the first cool. main boss, Renella, which was a fucking bitch, I didn't know what I was doing. I was focusing on my summons. I was trying everything possible to kill mm-hmm. this thing. I just got so strong to the point where I was able to. Once I got the Mesmir, I learned how to dodge again. I learned when to hit with my greatsword. Like I was learning, okay, this is how I need to play the game. Mm-hmm. So now I feel... 110 percent back in on elden ring where i can just smash the shit and i feel good i did pvp today and i fucking wrecked some dude and i felt great (laughs) um i got this one weapon that's uh it's like a random drop and it's like this fucking it's called a fiend's arm it's like a fucking enemy's arm and it's a colossal but it does 128 bleed damage every time you hit someone with it Bro, it is so, at first I was like, this thing's like throwing marshmallows at a rock again. Mm-hmm. Then I leveled it up all the way and I went to, which boss was it that I did the damage to really well? Fuck, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was a boss I, I, I wasn't stuck on, but I was kind of worried about going up and fighting. Yeah. And I did this swirl move twice on it is Ash of War. Mm-hmm. Bro, it took so much health off him. I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep doing this thing. And it just knocked just kinda him down. just spin to win on him. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I I really liked it. I love Shadow of the Earth Tree. If I were to give it a, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, I, think the, I think the exploration is even better than the original Elden Ring. And I think the coolest thing is, is again, like I said, you don't have to kill. Like, obviously, there's some bosses when you kill them, it ex- expands the map. Yeah. But I continuously found more things to to look it's a very vertical map so there's stuff below like if you see something below in a care i don't know in a ditch Mm -hmm. you can get there there's a way whether it's a hole in a wall or some secret path there's a way to get there same thing up high if you see a castle up above you can get there it is such a vertical map that it is beyond my fucking mind how they crafted it that's really cool so i loved it man 